Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Raquel and we are back for another video. This is going to be the first ever Tips and Tricks Tuesdays. I don't know if it will actually come out on a Tuesday or not, but hopefully it does so that the name makes sense. But yeah, so I had a PC and I switched over to a Mac. For those of you guys who watched my previous videos, either here or here, you'll know that's the case. So what happened was uh, while I did the little switch, I've been learning little tips and tricks as I go along and I'm sharing them with you on this YouTube channel. Disclaimer, this channel is not a tech YouTube channel, but whenever I come across a tip or a trick that might be useful for you guys, I put it up and I have a little playlist with tips and tricks. So the first tips and tricks video that I did did really, really well. And now I have just one tip for you guys today and I'm working on another tips and tricks video I'm compiling that as we speak so hard drive we all have one of these and I was using it with this bad boy for the longest time this one is I don't know the brand Seagate so this is a Seagate hard drive and it works well with this but what I found is when I got this MacBook it wasn't transferring my documents I wasn't able to save anything from my MacBook onto the Seagate hard drive so I troubleshooted this for the longest time and watched about like 10 YouTube videos to figure out how to get this to work and if I had to watch 10 YouTube videos chances are you're probably gonna have to watch a couple of YouTube videos to figure it out too so why not just watch me and I'll show you how to do it in a couple easy steps I already got this to work so I'm not gonna fidget with it anymore but I also have a flash drive that's having the same problem so I'll show you that when I plug this in I can't get uh, I can read all the documents on it because Apple's able to see everything that's on the drive. It can open it up, no problem. But if I want to add new stuff to this flash drive, it doesn't work. And that's exactly what was happening with this hard drive. Fix the problem here. I'm going to show you guys how to fix the problem, but I'm going to use this. It works the same way, so you can do follow the steps and you can do it for your hard drive. So the first thing I want to say is that it's really, really important to back up your hard drive because whatever's on your hard drive, when you reform, when you format your hard drive, you're going to lose all of that stuff because it's going to involve erasing it. So you want to make sure that you're backing up your hard drive before you do it. So for this bad boy, I only had about 40 gigs of stuff saved from this computer that I wanted to keep. So I backed that up before I formatted it. If you have more than 100 gigs or something like that of storage it's going to be a longer process to back up and i don't know if it's worth it or if you just want to spend 80 bucks and get a new hard drive but for me it was only about 40 40 40 gigs of stuff so i just kind of put it all on my desktop to save it and then backed up the hard drive and then changed the format of the hard drive so that's what i'm going to show you how to do in this video that was a really long intro let's get into it so it just occurred to me how loud it is with the AC going so that just chipped out and we're gonna see if we can get this entire tutorial done before it chips back in. I apologize if it does chip back in I'm not the only one in the house and it is hot guys. Alright so here's what we do. So I plug the flash drive in and you see it appear on my desktop like so. So I'm going to open it up and you can see I have three files on this, three folders on this desktop. I can open all of them and see what's in it, no problem. But if I try to drag this over from my desktop, I can't add anything to the file. See, it just gives me that gray circle with a line through it. So I can't stress how important this is, guys. You need to back up your hard drive. So I'm creating a new folder on my desktop and I'm just going to name it backup. 2020 and I'm going to drag all the documents that were on my flash drive over to this backup folder just to make sure that everything's safe. So now that I have everything saved, it's going to take a little bit of time and if you have a longer, a larger folder or more stuff on your hard drive, it's going to take even longer. But yeah, everything's saved right now. As you can see, I opened up backup just to check that everything's in there. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to go over to Disk Utility and I get to Disk Utility by clicking on the little magnifying glass and just typing it into Spotlight Search. 
so disk utility and it pops up right here on my screen double click on that and it opens up this utility now it's really important guys this is your macintosh hard drive you don't want to touch that go down to external and look for your external hard drive this is mine it's called raquel and as you can see i have this is a small flash drive it only has a little bit of stuff on it but what i want to point out to you is that it says windows nt file system so that's ntfs and that's that's a windows file and what's happening here is that my macbook can read it so it can see everything that's on the on the flash drive but it can't add anything else to it just because it's not compatible so what we're gonna do is we're gonna format this drive we're just gonna erase this drive so that it can it can be read by both so we're gonna go over to erase and then we're gonna just rename this drive it's not necessary to rename it but i'm just gonna rename it anyway so raquel 2020 nah i'll call it raquel hd actually raquel hd there we go so now we're gonna format and we're gonna you want to make sure it's on xfat xfat is a file that that mac can read and that uh, PC can read and other operating systems can read. It's like one of the most popular file like formats, I suppose, is what I, I learned about it. So if you change it to XFAT and now click erase, everything on your hard drive is going to go. This is why backing up is so important. So now it's created it as an XFAT file. So now it says Raquel HD and highlighted XFAT. Boom, click the X and now when I go back to my hard drive, I can restore everything that was on it. So I'll just drag all this stuff back over. And again, if you have a lot of stuff, it's gonna take a little bit of time. I don't really have that much stuff because I'm just using a flash drive for this example, but if you have a lot of files, it will take some time. So now I'm able to actually put things on this flash drive and we'll try this picture again. Voila. So yeah, there you have it guys. The flash drive is now read and writable. So my MacBook is able to add things to it and I can also take things off it and see everything that's on it, no problem. If I try it again on my PC, it will still work, no problem. So that's how you do it. And just because somebody asked in the last video, I'll just show you quickly how to eject your flash drive. So all you have to do is right click on your flash drive, go down to eject, and you're free to plug your flash drive out of your computer. No problem. So yeah, that's it. Can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that you back up your hard drive if you wanna do this process because anything that was on it will be lost. Um, if you have more than 100 gigs, I, do, I personally wouldn't put all of that on this. What I did was this computer has a lot of storage, so I did the same process on the desktop, but I just did it on my on my PC instead. So I plugged the hard drive, this hard drive into my PC, and I created a folder called Backup, and then I dragged everything onto it because this computer has way more storage than this. So 40 gigs of stuff was saved there, and then I brought it back over to this computer, turned it into the XFAT, fa XFAT file the way I just showed you how to do it, and then I was able to transfer everything from this computer onto the hard drive and still have this hard drive work with this computer. Hopefully that makes sense to you and hopefully this was helpful. I will be back with another tips and tricks compilation video next week, Tuesday. Have a good one. Take care. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe because your girl's putting in real work to make these videos, eh? All right, see ya.